We got an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet, bitch. Uh-oh. Hey, everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I'm Pat, or the Dungeoneer, and we're doing some more totally accurate battle simulator today. And I got some bad news. Uh, I lost a video. Um, I did these three. I think, I think it was these three. Uh, I did them, and I recorded it, and for some reason the recording, like, flickered. I don't know why. I didn't change any settings, so hopefully this... This doesn't do that, but it was like flickering white and it was really weird and I don't know what was going on with that But I also have some other bad news. This is the one that I'm currently on and uh, I can't seem to beat it I'm stuck Um, I've been bamboozled. Uh, it also feels Kind of stupidly hard. Um, I've been trash talking the Valkyrie this entire time uh, and it turns out they're actually pretty good. Uh, I just haven't seen them in a good scenario, I guess. But yeah, I've used everything. I even used the taboo for Bin Huacha on this, and I couldn't do it. So I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> this, like, completely got me stumped. And I don't want to go on to the next campaign. I don't want to look like a scrub. I don't want to look like a scrub who doesn't know how to play tabs. So we gotta think of something here. I, I played it quite a few times, and I was pretty much stumped. And I was just like, you know what, let's just watch it. And even with the watch, I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I also didn't realize that the uh, the Valkyrie are 500 points. Look how many Valkyrie there are. Look how many points it gave me. That's not a challenge. That's like an insurmountable task. Um, I got. So, uh, look how many I can purchase. Four or five. <laughs> I can count. Look how many they got. And they got head butters. Uh, so man, no matter what I've put over here, I just it just gets decimated. Like I've tried all my tricks. Really no. Like it, it gives me just enough points to get like the good stuff, but not get something to support it. You know what I mean? Like there's some units in here who are really strong, but they need something to support them. And this amount of money just doesn't give me enough to really like get anything. So I'm I I've tried. Maybe just like fire. I don't know. The dragons did pretty good for me in the last couple of missions. But, maybe just give them some healers and one archer. Uh, like, nothing can hit the Valkyrie. Like, you would think, oh, they can fly. So, like, your projectiles would be perfect against them. But they move around so janky that, like, the archers can't really hit them. And, and like, anything they touch just dies. It's insane! It is absolutely bonkers! I had a king, and the king, I was like, oh yeah, he's got three healers, this king's gonna rock and roll. These guys just like came up to him, just annihilated him. And then I tried shouters. I tried shouters to try and like, knock them back midair or something like that. Nothing, just nothing did anything to him. So I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do here. I can try the Huacha, and then maybe have something else. Cause like the, the thing is, is that this is such a small level that there's really nowhere for the Huacha to go. And unfortunately, these guys can like leap like freaks across the map and just like catch me before I can backpedal and reload. So I need something to like stop them. But I can't find it. Like they just they just wash through everything like a tidal wave, a tidal wave of wings and vikingness it's bananas. So let's see if I can. I think monks have some pretty good stamina. I need people with stamina. Hey, Aldi. Here we go. Let's give this a shot. Those pesky Valkyrie. There we go. Miss every shot. That's good. See, look at that. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, man. Like, was there an update that I missed or something? I swear, the Valkyrie, anytime I've ever used them, have always been stupid as hell and, like, die instantly. But what was I playing against that was, like, killing them instantly? That's the question. Can I just use Zeus and maybe some healers? I don't know. Everything just kills them so fast. There we go. Chain lightning them out of existence. Zeus, get up. No. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, ah. Oh, he was throwing lightning bolts. <laughs> Even as he's breaking his back. Oh, this is madness. I, I don't want to skip this either because I don't want to just go into the next campaign. Like a weenie. I'm no weenie. I stay until the fight is done. Until the last man stands. And that last man is me. Uh, what do I, what do I do? 
halflings. Maybe the halflings are so small that they can't they can't pick them up, or else they're gonna they're gonna pick them up like a little like a little rodent, <laughs> like a like a hawk picks up a snake. Get in there, halflings. Weigh them down. Look at the halflings just going flying. <laughs> Come on, man, please. They just, they're just a blender. I actually did pretty decent that time. I got a couple of them. All right, we're gonna try one cheerleader. See how this goes. Get in there, cheerleader. I don't know what you do, but do it. Do what you do. Ah, oh, how'd the cheerleader, nothing even touched the cheerleader. What the hell? Was the cheerleader just like trip over their own feet and die? So another thing too is in the video that I lost, um, I tried some new things. I tried the cheerleaders uh, with the mace spinners. It was very funny. Uh, I don't know who left that comment, but it was quite worth it. <laughs> oh, clams! This guy's crazy. I mean, I don't think what he's gonna do is gonna help because there's flying units, but the clams guy is nuts. Um, I also tried Blackbeard. Eh, he seemed okay. I don't know. He didn't seem like too crazy. Uh, maybe it just wasn't like the scenario for him. Uh, what else did I try? I tried a few other things. So someone said like use the mace spinner with the the cheerleaders And I think the cheerleaders just make them attack faster and the mace spinner is just like they just turn into like a human Beyblade <laughs> It's pretty cool. Watch the clams. He summons clams Even that's not even doing that much Jesus Maybe a bone mage? Is this another one of those levels where I just had to go back to the to the basics? Maybe spear throwers? Maybe I just need to get like a good artillery line and just like sit back and just let them shoot? I don't know. Get some cheerleader. <laughs> That's what the cheerleaders in my school sound like. They just screamed. Because it's not like these guys are super strong. Like it's not like... Like the headbutters, I think, are pretty weak. It's just they got so much damage with that charge. Stick together, guys. Stick together. Shoot them down. Oh, I forgot the tribal guys, like, get 10 feet. Oh, and then there it goes. There it goes. The Valkyrie just clean up everything, man. These guys ain't even doing anything. Go, cheerleader. <laughs> no, don't dive headfirst into the snow. You're not an ostrich. They'll see you. Oh yes, I also forgot, in the last video, I made a brand new unit. I, I added another person to the Dungeoneer squad. And there he is, Toasty. <laughs> you guys have heard of Smokey the Bear, and uh, only you can prevent forest fires. This guy, only he can start forest fires. Uh, he's not that good, so uh, I will show you right now. He's got quite a, <laughs> quite an attack rate. Go, Toasty! Yeah, burn him! Bo burn him! Oh, wait. Are they actually doing something? Yes! Oh my god, no way! Toasty's gonna win! I <laughs> Get him! No way. Wow, that actually... That actually did something. That actually kind of worked. That was so stupid that it actually worked. I used Toasty in the last couple fights, and he sucked like I don't know I guess I guess since this is just such a close proximity of units he's pretty good he's a human flamethrower and I'm going to take control of him he can also swap oh he can also fall on the ground get up you fool he also sounds like a I think I gave him the monkey king noise I don't know why I will take matters into my own hands and flame broil you like a whopper junior damn it <laughs> I lower the toasty and raise you one banana hammer. Oh, <laughs> I love the uh, I love the voices on these guys. Here we go. We got this. I'll be toasty. I'll be the support unit. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry if I roast the banana, but it's for the greater good. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, you guys have no idea how long I've been playing this level. It's been like a better part of an hour that I've been. Sitting here. Hopefully this is not too bad. What do we got here? All right, we got two knights got some healers See this I feel like is a good amount of points. You know what I mean? Like I Don't understand why the game just that's not challenging. That's just cheating <laughs> See this would be a good who level just get them all right around 
right around each other and just shoot them down. But we're not going to do that. All right, now that we have more ground units, I'm going to show you guys the, the power of the clams. I actually might be able to clean this up just with clams. But you never thought you'd hear that before. <laughs> I definitely didn't. And we'll have some healers. Actually, that, that might be too much clams. This is either going to be amazing or incredibly stupid. They don't have range units, do they? Oh, they do. <gasps> I did not foresee that. Even though I looked right at them. Well, go! Give them clams. Hopefully they're allergic. <clears throat> Get them! We got an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet, bitch. Uh-oh. The archers are putting down the clams. Go, clam man. Can they heal the clams? Oh my god, they actually did kill everybody. Look at him going. <laughs> He's got little eyeballs. Are they healing? Can I be the clam? Oh my god, I could be the clam. Can I attack? Ah! Oh, I die when I attack. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Game just gets nuttier and nuttier. All right, stupid strategy was stupid. <laughs> I didn't realize they had archers. I'm sorry, okay? Ooh, yeah, I wanted to use these guys. These guys are crazy. I don't know if I used these guys uh, in the last episode that I actually uploaded, but I used these guys in the last episode that I lost, and these guys are awesome. They shoot like crazy, and I think if I use a cheerleader, they might even shoot faster, but the best part is that they backpedal. They actually walk backwards as they reload, which is amazing. Let's try the executioner. I haven't, there's some of these guys I still haven't seen. Three executioners. There we go. Execute. Do it. Do it to it. Oh wow. Yeah. This is like a human version of the Huacha. <laughs> Get them. And they and they they back up. That's so cool. Oh, executioners didn't do too well. Oh no, they're getting nailed. <gasps> Shields are good against arrows. Who would have thunk? Damn it. Should have told Boromir that. I think I already made that joke. Oh well. <laughs> oh my god, pom-poms are going flying. Who's still alive? <gasps> you! It's all up to you! Alright, the clams, I think were... That sounded like it was in my room. That scared me. <laughs> I don't know why that only came through the right side of my headset, but that sounded like someone literally just came up behind me and said that. That, that was scary. Anyway. Uh, so here's some clams. I think they did pretty good. And then we're gonna try the a bourbon dirt. We're gonna try the uh, the wheelbarrow dragon. <laughs> and you know what? Let's try. Yeah, some of these are like way too expensive. I can't afford that. We'll try the mace spinners. We'll try one mace spinner. <laughs> uh, and then a shh. That guy. Go. Yes! Oh my god, that's super effective. Oh, until he drops the wagon. Come on, clams. Oh, he can still do stuff. Oh! Here comes big afro Bob Ross beating the shit out of these archers. <laughs> He's still- oh! Oh, did you see that? He just spit him. <laughs> yes! Look at him as he dances gleefully among the, the clams. The happy little clams. I hate- the Vikings. This is the most infuriating team to fight against. Seriously. It's, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. These guys also dash. Because like, they all dash. Like, they all close the gap. And it's so frustrating. This looks like a pretty decent amount of points, though. What am I going to do here? Is that guy backwards? Like, look at this. These two guys are backwards. I'm going to lose to this? That's embarrassing. Well... I haven't used them in a while. Let's just let's just try something real stupid. You know what I mean? If we're gonna get the points, <laughs> if the company's paying for it, if the, we got the company credit card, might as well use it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Show them what you can do, you big woolly bastards! Oh, and they're already dying. I mean, I don't know much about what other people think about this game, but does do other people say that like the Vikings are a little overpowered? I mean, I know it's hard to have like a serious discussion about a game uh, that has <laughs> some of the wackiest stuff in it, but they just seem so unbalanced compared to the other people. I don't like them. Have some guns. Have lots of guns. 
The gun is good. We need a Zardon. Or Zar Zardon? Zarkon? I forgot what that movie was called. Go! <laughs> yes, set them ablaze. What is this guy doing? Whoa! He's got he learned a new technique! He's flying! And now he's dying. Defend the country land! Mm, too much! Oh, it's only two. Come on, we got this. Oh, it's three of them. One of them stuck. Oh my god. Like, look at that. They just... Oh. Let's see what they think of the power of cactus. Get some healers up in there. Get a bird. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna put a bird right here. I'm gonna make them... I'm gonna make them shoot their shot right away. So they have to just jump on him. And they waste their charge. And then they go right into the fire. Yes! Now that's what I call a strategy. That was too perfect. <laughs> too perfect. Who wants some roasted cactus? This guy's got all the close combat and heal it. Why are they so... Can anyone tell me why are they little? Is there... Is it like a DK mode? <laughs> like in GoldenEye where their heads get bigger and whatnot? Because sometimes their heads are really small. And then other times like they're really... Their body will be really small. It's really weird freaking me out. Alright, so that's that's gonna be an issue. I'm feeling the power of tribal. I'm feeling very tribal on this one. I, I, I can feel it. I, I just wish they had healers. Alright, so we're, we're basically gonna take what he's doing but flip it. So we'll put our ranged guys against his close combat and we'll put our close combat against his range. Even though, unfortunately the bards are gonna eat most of the most of it. But that's okay. I don't feel like numbers have ever beaten an army. You know what I mean? Like, like point-wise, yeah, I, I can get like a ton of halflings or I can get a ton of like clubbers and stuff like that. But I don't feel like that's ever won the match. Because there's so many units that are like, like the elite guys, like the king, are, are just really good at just like, they just turn to Lu Bu and they just kill like swaths of dudes in one go. So it's... It, it, it almost seems like really uh, deceptive of how you can have like so many units, but they can just get wiped out in one go. I'm feeling it. We got the numbers, boys. Oh no, they already killed some of my, my people. Come on, chieftains. I, you guys are good. Oh, they already got the king. We already got one king. Come on, stoners. Oh, look who's got a big head. Oh no. Oh, we're actually kind of doing okay. Uh, don't follow them off the cliff. Let them go. Just let them die. Just let them die. Oh, thank God. I thought that was like an actual strategy when I first started playing it, that you could just lead people off the cliff with the bards. All right, I'm going to be one of the good guys here. King, your army is destroyed. You must surrender now. I'll take that as a no. We shall take your castle and all your treasure. Oh no! <laughs> wow, the kings are the king. That's he's just like that spike was meant for me. <laughs> the kings are the king for a reason. Damn, they are super powerful. They're one of my favorite units. They're actually really cool. Uh, I feel like maybe the spear throwers weren't pulling their weight. Maybe put a bone mage over here. Because I feel like these guys got decimated pretty quickly. Come on, boys. Ooh! Take that arrow to the chest. <laughs> oh my god. You see? Uh, Mr. Little, little Head over here. Tiny Head. Just swings that Zweihander. Just kills everybody. Same formations. Drastically different outcome. Let's try that one more time. I believe in you. I believe in you. It really is random, though. It's like it's it's really based on if they can get off that attack or not. You know. Sometimes, sometimes units will do the most amazing attack ever, and then other times they just kind of like don't do anything at all. All right, we're gonna try to get some more powerful stuff in here. We're gonna see how they like the bombs on sticks. See how they feel about that. Get some archers in there. <laughs> Shoot! 
Shoot and scoot. That's the best technique. Shoot and scoot. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about those. Oh, come on. Man, oh man. I think the, uh, I think these guys all got taken out by arrows. Back up. I will take control. Oh, there's a lot of stuff left. I don't know if we're gonna be able to handle this. Both kings are still alive! He's just taking it to the chest! Ah! They're hitting me, but they're not doing damage. I'm immortal! I'm dead. Alright, time to pull out some serious artillery. Let's see how they feel about the cannonball. That's a winning strategy right there. Boom! Oh, come on! You got one cannonball and you hit the bard. Oh! Only the king. Only the king can take a cannonball to his head and just have it bounce up. Oh, how are you guys missing? Come on, man. <laughs> Give me this. You don't have your license to use the cannon. Back it up. Oh, yeah! Take him out by the hip. Come on, guys. We can still win this. The king is falling! I'm your new king now. Yeah, look at him. He's like, I don't, I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I need help. Well, knowing the AI. <laughs> oh my god. What? The AI like will will shoot ten feet away from me, but the AI will shoot like forty feet away. Ah! Tokyo Drift. Three sixty no scope. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and turn on those notifications and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll we'll do some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator next time. And if you guys haven't already, please uh, check out my animation channel, Dungeoneer Cartoons, which the link is in the description if you're one of the few people who don't know that I'm an animator. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I, I, uh, I appreciate all the support and everything. And I hope you guys have a good day or a good night, and I'll see you next time.